Greetings everyone, Father Hogan here, good to be with you. What I'd like to do for today's meditation is to focus on our gospel. If you haven't done so already, feel free to pause the video and to go grab your Bibles. Okay, and let us begin. The gospel is taken from the sixth chapter of the Gospel of John. In the sixth chapter in John, it's typically referred to as the Bread of Life Discourse, in which we're continuing to read about this extraordinary bread, that is, God himself giving food for us to sustain us on our journey. One of the greatest movie trilogies I have really enjoyed throughout my life is The Lord of the Rings. And the story is this epic battle between good and evil. The good trying to get rid of this uh, ring of power that controls the other nine rings, and obviously the evil side wanting to find this ring that they can then exert their dominance over the world of men. And so Frodo and Sam are sent on this very difficult, arduous, and perilous journey into the to the <clears throat> to the netherworld, into the dark side, to deposit this ring into Mount Doom. And to accompany them on this journey, they were given elvish bread, which is called Lambus bread, or in translation in Elvish, life bread to sustain them on their journey. You see, J.R. Tolkien is very uh, Catholic in terms of the themes that he uses. And Lama's bread, I think, is our great translation as well. That it's food for our journey as well. Although we may not be able to receive communion physically, these spiritual communion prayers, which the saints prayed every single day in addition to receiving uh, physical communion, gave them strength on their journey as well. Because it's through this bread of life that we're able to accomplish the works of God and find the strength to continue on. You know, much of our lives have been uh, difficult and will continue to be difficult. As we all know, as we get older, it doesn't get any easier. And so by uniting our sufferings to God, He hears us in our time of need and wants to give us aid. So maybe for today, let us take this opportunity to one, thank God for this ability to participate. Again, even though we may not be able to physically, but to participate spiritually in His gift of spiritual communion, which God at every moment of our lives wants to come to us to give us strength and so especially for Jesus Christ with this bread whoever eats it will live forever you know the food that we eat on a regular daily basis is something that we'll be hungry again you know especially if we haven't eaten in four or five hours we're gonna eat and we're probably gonna be hungry again the qualitative difference of the bread of life gives us a great reminder of our calling that is heavenly so let's focus our eyes upon that to press on toward the goal, to achieve eternal life. And let us pray. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good and gracious God, we thank you for giving us your Son, Jesus Christ, for him dying on the cross, but as also a way to unite ourselves to you, spiritually and physically, through Holy Communion. Continue to help us to receive this bread of life, so it may sustain us on this earthly pilgrimage to be reunited one day with you in heaven. We make these prayers in your name, Jesus. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. God is a great Father in the sense that He continues to show His love for us, even in these extraordinary times. Let's continue to thank God for His blessings and to share those with those around. God bless.